for the people on this campus who dismiss Latino narratives. To be a Latina woman on a college campus is to face violence on the day to day. It is walking into a classroom on the first day of classes and praying another student of color walks in. Weeks later, it is seeing my culture reflected as costume, reduced to insult, identity shredded into piñata scraps and slurs. It is being called a chupacabra on D-Walk by white men who sexualize Latina bodies and then dismiss them as beasts. It is white women claiming no difference in our struggles, like Starbucks stereotypes could ever compare to the jokes about green cards, about the backs my family nearly broke to get here. It is men of color being willing to talk about race, but never about gender, because Dios Santísimo God forbid there be anyone more oppressed than they. <laughs> it is some women of color deeming this skin too light to be oppressed, like hmm. Oppression Olympics is a game that I can never have a say in. Yes. To be a Latina woman on a college campus is coming from a culture that never prepared me to fight this on my own. Mm. It is having been taught to hide away, to sink myself into shadows so the manditos machos could have their way. It is being afraid of speaking up. Like when I try to tell my family about my anxiety and they tell me, Janelle, quit making that shit up. We got real problems to deal with. It is my professor telling me that my academic accommodations give me an unfair advantage. As if having to leave a classroom mid-anxiety attack could ever be an advantage. As if shaking with fear and panic is an advantage. It is being slut-shamed, hate crime, assaulted, attacked, and abused. It is all these things and no one taking me seriously when I try to fight back. To be a Latina woman is my culture glorifying the government out of fear. It is living every day terrified that a family member will be deported. Last week, it was Deborah's mother. Today, it could be your mother, your father, your aunt, your uncle, your sister, your brother, your cousin, your neighbor, you. It is fearing that my voice will sound only like trouble, that everything I list as struggle will be taken and turned and used against me. Like any step out of line gives people a reason to talk shit about immigration, like everything means I shouldn't be in this country in the first place. The illegals are stealing our jobs, they say. They're stealing our America. It is them not understanding that this, this is my America too that most of us never even asked to become hyphen American. Mm -hmm. To be a Latina woman on a college campus is to be tired all the time. It is to feel the weight of all the tired Latina women inside me. It is barely having time to be a student. It's barely having time to be a person. It is belonging neither here nor there, Ni de aquí, ni de allá. Cuando llego a El Salvador me denuncian por americana, pero aquí, en esta tierra, siempre seré esa latina gritando por algo. It is some people in the audience uncomfortable that they don't know what I just said. It is people feeling threatened whenever Spanish words are used. It is my culture making people uncomfortable. It is hashtag taco, hashtag tequila, hashtag illegal, hashtag whitewashed, hashtag too light skinned to be considered person of color, hashtag Becky, hashtag Latinos who, hashtag Donald Trump really ain't that bad, hashtag bro power really ain't that important, hashtag I am tired of all this violence, all this black and white dichotomy, Latino violence always gets ignored, pero no. No nos vamos a callar. To be a Latina woman is to have to scream myself into spaces that don't welcome me. It is always having something to scream about. It is coming home every day and writing all these poems, 
hoping that someone out here will hear me. <laughs> 